Hi artists, today we're going to be talking about some muscles in your forearm that we can um, in the next few videos talk about stretching and strengthening to hopefully alleviate some hand soreness and forearm tightness. So here on my forearm, um, I drew in two bones. So on the pinky side is the ulna and on the thumb side is the radius. Over those bones, I drew this set of muscles here in purple are the pronators. So as you can see, it reaches over here from the pinky side over to the radial side and attaches there. And here the pronator does the same thing. It attaches to the humerus and to the ulna and then attaches here on the radius. So when these muscles contract, they flip your hand palm down. So those are called the pronator. All right, now let's talk about the supinator muscle. So here on my forearm, I drew three bones. I have the ulna, which on this end is part of your elbow, but on this end is over by your pinky. And then here we have the radius. And here is the bottom part of the humerus. So in green here, you can see that along the radius in the bottom part of, or I'm sorry, along the ulna in the bottom part of the humerus is the origin of the muscle. And then it comes over and wraps around to the front part of the radius. So if you start with your palm down, that muscle contracts and rotates your arm palm up. And that is called supination. A lot of people will say you can hold a cup of soup and that's how they remember that this muscle is the supinator. Okay, so because the pronator muscles are the muscles that are contracted when we have our hands down, uh, we're working either writing or illustrating, tattooing, making pottery on the computer, the pronators tend to be a little bit tighter or have more tension. So if you place your hand on a surface and make sure that your elbow stays facing forward, you will be stretching these pronator muscles and hopefully relieving some of the tension that built up in your forearm during the right. day. So now that you understand the muscles of the forearm, the supinator and the pronator, you can see that if you spend a lot of time with your hand palm down, the pronators may be a little bit stronger and the supinators may be a little bit weaker. So one of the ways that you can counterbalance some tightness in the forearms is by strengthening the supinator. So if you have a stretchy band and you start with your elbow into your side and your palm um, facing down, then you can start to bring your hand to palm up and this will start to strengthen the supinator muscle to counterbalance all of the pronation that you're doing with your work. So hopefully this helps. Give it a shot and let me know what you think.